Hi guys, welcome to the Studentship YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you the easiest and quickest way to calculate your CGP. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. So, uh, so let's assume these are the courses you are taking for the semester. We have five courses here and here are the unit load. You know, in university, every course has a unit load. So for this course, we have three units two, four, three, and one. So you have to know the unit load for each of the courses you are taking. And for an A grade, if you get an A, you get a five points. If you get a B, you get a four points. If you get a C, you get a three points. And if you get a D, you get a two points. And an E is one point. So every grade you get is a Thanks. point is assigned to every grade you get. That's the reason why you need to get a good grade so that you can get a high CDP. Now, for this first uh, result, which is by 101, I got an A, which is a 5 point. So, I will multiply this 3 by 5, which is 15. Then, for this second course, which is 101, I'm going to multiply 2 by 4, which is 8. Then, multiply 4 by 3, which is 12, for K101, because I got a C, which is a 3 point, and the credit unit load is 4. So, for this start 101, I got a D, which is two points. So it's two multiplied by three is six. Then for GST 101, which is one point, because I got an E, is one by one, which is one. So you add up this. So by the time you add up this, you get 42 as your total credit load grade. Huh? Then this unit, you are going to add up the unit for the courses you are taking for the semester. And here we have 13. So you are going to divide this unit by point by the units so we have 42 divided by 13 and this is going to give us 3.2 so this means that your gpa for the semester if this is your first semester result it means that the gpa for your first semester is 3.2 now you are going to calculate for your second semester so let's assume after calculating for your second semester we have 4.3 so we are going to add up this GP for the first and the second semester, which will be 4.3 plus 4.2 divided by 2. And this will give us a total of 4.3. So it means that this is the CGP for the session. That is, let's say this is the first year result. So this is your CGP for your first year result. Now you use this method to calculate for your second year, third year, and your final year. But to calculate the final CGPA, that is for students in their final year, this is what you have to do. You have to have the CGPA for each of the sessions. So for your first year, this is for students studying a four years course. If you are studying a five years course, this will be divided by five. And of course, the CGPA we have here will be five uh, units. But for a four year course, we have four units here. So we're going to have this and divide by four. So by the time we had this and divide by 4, we will have a total CGP of 4.3. So this will be your final graduating CGP. So this is an easy step to calculate your CGP. If you have any question or you need further clarification, let me know in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel and click on the notification button. For now, bye-bye.